We all notice great CG when it's used for creating fighting robots, flying space battles, or alien creatures like an avatar. Oftentimes, a more subtle CG is needed to digitally alter actors for nude scenes, special edits, or features which don't fit the role they're playing. From some realistic touches to more absurd mustache removals, check out these actors who were digitally edited over the years. Before you watch, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new Screen Rant content. I won't be at work tomorrow or the next day or the day after that. I'm taking a holiday. Pee Wee Herman, Pee Wee's Big Holiday. Pee Wee Herman actor Paul Rubens was over 60 years old when he rebooted his famous character for the Netflix film Pee Wee's Big Holiday. Naturally, an elderly man acting so goofy may not resonate like Pee Wee once did, so the production decided to use digital effects so it looked like Pee Wee hasn't aged a day. Wrinkles were digitally removed from his skin, and along with a lot of makeup used on set, Pee Wee's face was smoothed over for many of the scenes. Not only did Pee Wee need to adapt to a younger age, but HD content would make every Every little change noticeable. We didn't cross the border! The border crossed us! Jessica Alba, Machete. For years, Jessica Alba has stated that she has a no-nude policy when it comes to film roles. She has stuck with the policy, and her decision created some interesting use of CG for the film Machete. While millions of fans thought they were getting a glimpse of Alba nude in the shower, the shot was created using lots of CG. Alba pretty much wore a flesh-colored bikini while in the shower. The clothing was removed in post-production and some digital skin was added. The effect works so seamlessly you would think it was real, but Alba stuck to her guns and the scene still works as intended. <laughs> Wesley Snipes, Blade Trinity After hearing all of the production horror stories while filming Blade Trinity, it's pretty incredible the film was actually completed and released. Wesley Snipes was notoriously stubborn on set and got into many fights with director David S. Goyer. Their relationship became so strained that during one shot where Snipes needed to open his eyes, the actor refused. Goyer pushed on and the film crew decided to add a CG moment where his eyes pop open. The film may be filled with over-the-top action effects, but we couldn't help but cringe at the fake CG eyes. I feel fear for the last time. Billy Crudup, Dr. Manhattan. The Watchmen was a different type of superhero movie for several reasons, and one of them was the nude hero known as Dr. Manhattan. Played by Billy Crudup, the hero was often shown in his fully nude state with everything revealed on screen. With Crudup and a stunt actor often doing multiple takes of the same shot, the actor's private areas needed to be properly matched up for the various scenes. This resulted in a lot of CG work just to make the glowing man parts look accurate and authentic on screen. The extended edition of The Watchmen features even more shots of the nude CG body. Nicolas Cage, Ghost Rider Nicolas Cage is known as a huge fan of comic book heroes. He even went so far as to name his own son Kal-El. Besides Superman, Cage is a huge fan of Ghost Rider and landed a dream job by playing the hero in two Marvel films. His fandom went so far that Cage actually has a Ghost Rider tattoo on his arm. The only problem? The Ghost Rider character couldn't have a tattoo of himself especially during the hero's origin story. The tattoo was digitally removed in post-production, probably at the same time as a flaming skull was added to Cage's head. I believe in truth, but I'm also a big fan of justice. Henry Cavill, Justice League Overlapping productions can cause a mess for producers, especially when actors change their looks for certain roles. In the case of Henry Cavill, the actor was forced to keep his mustache for a role in Mission Impossible Fallout while he needed to do reshoots for the Justice League. It turns out, digitally removing a mustache is a lot harder than shaving one. The result featured multiple laughable scenes with Superman. Other viewers have also pointed out that some of Cavill's hands were also CG in the movie. The Man of Steel officially transformed into the Man of Terrible CG. Scarlett Johansson, Ghost in the Shell before the first trailer was even released for the adaptation of Ghost in the Shell, fans were already in an uproar over the casting of Scarlett Johansson as an Asian character. Even more criticism came when plans were revealed to use CG to make her look more Asian in the film. Ultimately, the filmmakers decided against the CG to create a different look for Johansson. 
plenty of CG was still used for robots, sets, and action scenes, but the film couldn't recover from the bad press and it quietly disappeared from theaters soon after it premiered. That wasn't so bad. That was penicillin. Chris Evans, Captain America, The First Avenger In Captain America, The First Avenger, Chris Evans' portrayal of Steve Rogers goes through a lot of different transformations. Unlike someone like Christian Bale, who went through a crazy transformation for films like The Machinist, Evans left his various body sizes and changes up to the CG department. He starts out as a scrawny kid and eventually transforms into the Captain America we know and love. Behind-the-scenes footage showcases how the magic comes to life and creates some great effects. And don't worry, for the sequels, Evans kept his body in shape and no extra CG was needed. What is it they've sent us? Help. Ingvil Delia, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story Getting cast in a Star Wars movie is a huge move for many actors. It's changed the careers of performers like Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley. Unfortunately for Ingvil Delia, the role she played in Rogue One forced CG animators to completely remove her face. The reason? Delia played a younger version of Princess Leia. Her face was completely transformed into a younger version of Princess Leia in some of the most pivotal moments at the end of the film. The impressive CG work wasn't too distracting and far better than some other movies in recent memory. <sighs> yes, we're talking about Henry Cavill's mustache again. I don't think I'd fit in here. Look at me. I am. Dakota Johnson, Fifty Shades of Grey Fifty Shades of Grey really tried to push the limits when it came to sex scenes, and these moments would become the core of the film. As Dakota Johnson went nude for her role, she chose to wear skin tone underwear to cover up some of her most intimate parts. As the shots were planned for post-production, the filmmakers decided the character should look as natural as possible in the private area. This left a CG artist with the strange task of adding pubic hair for Dakota Johnson's body. Whatever happened to the basic CG days when just digital dinosaurs needed to be created? It's odd. Mmm. Odd doesn't even cover it. Wow. Well, there you have it. What CG edits looked the worst? Are you still mad about Superman's CG in Justice League? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Screen Rant on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. Thanks for watching.